Hey everyone, Mike from Survival Mentality. I'm here with the second of the installment series that we have going on on items that you would want in your home during a disaster scenario in an urban environment. What do you think I'm going to talk about today? Nope, still not fire starting, still not water purification, but yes, I'm going to talk about medicines. I have here a few that I'm going to quickly discuss. But the one most important factor that I want you to take in is if you have a prescription, you need to start setting some of that prescription to the side and getting that prescription refilled. So that way, when society does collapse, you have those things that are more difficult to get and that are going to help keep you alive. Whatever your condition is, if you have one, you wanna make sure you have that, okay? Make sure you put a desiccant bag in the bottle so that the medicine stays uh, good for a long time. Moisture does kill this uh, the shelf life of these medicines. All right, so I would personally say one of the most important ones to have is this antihistamine the allergy it is yes benadryl but this is the knockoff brand it really doesn't matter a lot of these good uh like kirkland signatures have the same uh ingredients that allow these medicines to do what they're designed to do if you don't have uh a shot um or an epi pen obviously most of us don't you can make a quick a quick uh, culture or concoction where you can take a few of these, crunch them up, uh, make a solution and inject. Okay, um, that is an extreme situation, but it's very important that you do have some of this Benadryl on you, okay? So uh, next thing that I wanna talk about is mucus relief so you obviously want to make sure that you can breathe that your your airways are clear so you want definitely a plethora of mucus relief and then afrin for the same reason make sure it's sealed up until you need it okay and then this one is claritin if you have allergies don't want to be without that and then zyrtec aside from those make sure you got some uh, creams, maybe the cortisone to help with the itching. If you get a bug bite, it also helps with that. Uh, spider bites, things like that. Anyway, bulk all these over the, uh, over the counter meds up right now, put them aside, and then at the same time, slide some of those meds that you're currently taking that are prescribed and make sure that you are set to go in case society collapse. Thank you. Look forward to episode number three.